Today we want to introduce you to a Cajun Fitness member who got her life back through exercise. Two years ago, Angela Morrison was diagnosed with POTS. Angela, can you tell us a little bit more about what POTS is? Well, POTS stands for Posterior Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome. It's a condition where you have an abnormal elevation in heart rate. The elevation in heart rate is a secondary issue caused by dysfunction in your autonomic nervous system. So uh, you have an elevation in heart rate and sometimes a decrease in your blood pressure. Uh, so Angela, uh, tell me, you know, what were your initial symptoms? Like, what were you feeling that made you think that maybe something was wrong? Initially, I was feeling very tired. Um, at times, too, very lightheaded, dizzy. Um, I had episodes of blurred vision, sometimes feelings of anxiousness. Um, initially, I thought it was possibly related to a thyroid condition I had, um, or maybe a blood sugar problem. But um, I really thought maybe it was related to a busy lifestyle as a nurse practitioner, a mom taking care of two young kids, and just kept trying to push through it. My heart rate with standing was significantly more elevated than with me sitting. I consulted with a cardiologist um, and a cardiologist nurse practitioner friend of mine, and they uh, educated me more on POTS and uh, uh, dysautonomic symptoms. And I had more testing done, which included an echocardiogram, um, which is an ultrasound of your heart, a tilt table test, and a uh, halter monitor, which is a 24-hour EKG monitoring of your heart. Well, I know that there are several um, different um, treatments for POTS. Uh, can you tell me what your uh, doctor prescribed for you? Well, initially I was started on uh, medication to help to treat the symptoms of POTS. There's really no definitive cure. I was started on a medication to lower my heart rate down, which also had the side effect of bringing my blood pressure down, which was a problem. And I had to drink large amounts of fluids, and when that wasn't enough, receive IV fluids. Wow, well, can you tell me, I know that you have been exercising. Um, can you tell me how the exercise has helped you uh, with POTS? Well, initially, uh, I could not tolerate any exercise, and I was encouraged to uh, take it easy and put my feet up and rest. But despite that and the medication and the IV fluids, my symptoms continued to progress. After praying about it and doing some research, I came across a study by Dr. Levine, who is a NASA medical doctor, um, who's done this study for POTS patients that was, um, that's been proven to be very effective. I followed his program as a structure, which included cardiovascular exercises, uh, strengthening exercises, uh, as well as some other components to the program. Uh, initially, I had to do most of all my exercises sitting and gradually progress uh, to be able to do exercises standing. After completing the program um, and exercising for six months, I was able to get off of all my medication and stop uh, receiving the weekly IV fluids. I haven't had any IV fluids since uh, completing the program and I feel much better. I feel like somebody's given me my life back. I'm able to get through my day, literally being able to stand on my feet and do the things I need to do as a mom and as a nurse practitioner. Being able to carry out daily tasks without being short of breath or feeling like I need to sit down is a huge blessing. That's such an inspirational story, Angela. Thank you so much for coming and sharing with us today. So if you're experiencing some of these symptoms, you might want to contact your health care provider. So don't let life's obstacles get in your way. Never give up. And always keep fitness first.